Good morning, everyone. Charles here with JTS. What I have before you is the M12 AK T1. We're going to go over the gas settings really quick for you. So if you're watching this video, there's a very high chance that you probably, one, have this shotgun and you're having cycling issues, or two, you just want to get a, a general idea of how the gas settings work on this shotgun. So let's kind of go over this really quick. Starting off with zero. Um, now, technically, this right now is set up on gas setting number three, but let's say we were to go to gas setting zero. This is effectively going to turn off all of the gas to the shotgun. What that means is when you pull the trigger, your round will fire, but the shell casing will not eject. You have to have the, the gas setting uh, open so that way it'll introduce gas in order to cycle the action on this gun. If you have it on zero, all it's going to do is fire. It's going to be the same thing as a pump action shotgun. Well, not pump action, but you're going to have to rack the bolt back in order to chamber a new round. Now, let's turn the knob. Let's go to gas setting number one, which would be on the lower left-hand side, because right now we're, we're looking at a different angle, but barrel will be facing this way. If you go down to gas setting number one, really this is going to be for three-inch shells. Um, now, three-inch shells are, are never really that fun to, to shoot. I would not suggest running it on any other gas setting. If it runs reliably on gas setting number one, leave it there. Now, if you have the occasional round where it just did not quite fully eject itself, go ahead and bump up the gas a little bit and go to gas setting number two. If it's cycling without issue, just leave it there. Now, if we take that gas setting, we go to gas setting number two. Really, this is going to be for 1,390 feet per second or faster. Now, that number right there is not set in stone. There are different shells. Uh, you have low brass, high brass loads. The, the weight, how much shot you're pushing out of it, all that can vary. So there may be instances where you know you have this, this velocity on the box, but it does not cycle. Well, Go to gas setting number three, kind of help it out, give it a little bit more extra gas in order to cycle it. But for the most part, usually when you're shooting buckshot, slugs, personal defense ammunition, gas setting number two is going to be more than enough to get the gun to cycle. Again, if it's brand new out of the box and you leave it on gas setting number two and you're having the occasional stoppage, let's go ahead and open it up and go to gas setting number three. It's going to give you just enough in order to, to fully extract that spent casing. Now, if we go to gas setting number three, this is gonna be the wide open setting. This is gonna introduce the highest amount of gas into your shotgun. You need to be running 1,255 feet per second or faster. So you go to Walmart Academy, you buy a 100 round box of Winchester white box or the Federal, the economy pack. Those are moving 1,200 feet per second. It's, it's a great cartridge, it works great in, in other, other shotguns, pump actions, over-unders. This gun with that shell is not compatible. It does not have enough gas, enough energy to cycle the bolt back. So if you're watching this video and that's what you were shooting, that's 100%, that's gonna be the issue. You need to run something that's a little bit hotter. You don't need to run you know, gas at number three with high brass, you just need to run high velocity. So with that being said, if your your gun is having cycling issues and you're on you know gas setting one or two, go to gas setting number three. If you're you're running this velocity on there, again it could also be that the the, the box itself it's just the ammunition does not always travel exactly what it lists on the box. Most of you know that by now. There's always going to be some sort of variance in the velocity. There's going to be a spread, but in general, gas setting number three is gonna be where you start off at. That's gonna be for your, your bird shot, uh, target loads. If you're just going to the range, you're punching holes in paper, leave it on gas setting number three. Personal defense ammunition, slugs, high brass, gas setting number two. Gas setting number one, three inch shells. And of course, gas setting zero is closing off the gas entirely. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up. As always, have fun, be safe, and have a great day.